Good morning, YouTubers, refiners, scrappers, and enthusiasts of e-waste recycling. Today I'm mocking up my sulfuric acid stripping cell. We're going to go after some stuff like that and some pens. Uh, so uh, this is an old um, lead cathode that I had used previously. It's still got some gold on that. I'll probably have to end up using that when I smelt um, some stuff and or cupel, excuse me, cupel uh, the gold uh, to get that. Anyway, um, I'm still, you know, working on this. We'll we'll put sulfuric acid into this, and then hook up our electrodes and start running this very shortly, and uh, we will try and knock that out today. So I had to increase the voltage. I'm running about eight volts and 2.38 amps which equals about 19 watts so we'll uh, we'll come back on it. it was just removing the gold way too slow and we'll check on it again in a couple of minutes um hadn't seen that orange foam before and there's a little bit of orange on that uh lead so i don't know if that's base metals or what but we're gonna keep going and i'll filter that out and deal with it accordingly all right so the solution's really gotten cloudy, and uh, we're going to keep rolling with it. It's not really a lot of gold. Might let that settle out. Uh, i got to go do something. Let me turn it off in a little bit. We'll come back to it and continue. I just filled the basket up. So we're, uh, we're doing pretty well. I wanted to take a record of this. i got to go run some errands, so I'm shutting it down. All right, so this is uh, the pens I'm gonna run through after that batch finish, and there's a little bit more left, man. I gotta tell you, I'm thinking about just winding down and saving this for later. I've got to button this project up and uh, get ready to go. So um, this is what we have today. The sulfuric acid stripping cell to remove gold plate. So it's working pretty well. All that black stuff's golden solution and uh, sulfuric acid. This is the sulfuric acid cell, that black material you see that looks like tar's golden solution. It's a 98% sulfuric acid. I'm going to use a fiberglass plug to filter that out. It's probably going to go real slow, but I want to cap it off and uh, reuse it for later. I've got to button this project up tonight. All right, I'm gonna put these pens in and there's a couple of gold-plated crystal oscillators, oscillators and some gold-plated terminals. I'm gonna glove up and put my Googles on. But uh, there you go. And I just spilled a little. So, so the sulfuric acid stripping cell removes the gold through electrolysis. The medium or the electrolyte is the sulfuric acid. This thing was invented back in like 1838. I don't know the guy's name. I'll probably have to look that up. But um, the gold moves from here to my lead cathode. The anode basket has gold-plated items in it, and the gold is stripped off through the sulfuric acid and moves towards that lead anode, excuse me, cathode. And then you can see the solution there. I'll have to filter that out, but that's it. My glove won't turn the thing off. So I'm running out of time. I would have liked to have finished up this, but I've got some things to do, so I need to button that up. And I might put this in AP. It's not really that much. Uh, pens and there's some gold-plated stuff. I've got plenty more coming down the pike. So anyway, uh, that's, um, that's pretty much it. We're gonna, after that, um, we strip off the gold on those little bit of pens. I will uh, start filtering that out, and that's going to be pretty cool. So that went pretty quick, man. My wattage dropped down. 
Uh, I bet you that wasn't even in for two minutes. Uh, so we'll just take a real quick look at it. And uh, I've got, like I said, I got to start getting some things done. We're going to strain that off. I'll give you a little shot. Shot of that. I just had cut these pins off and wanted to process them different. And I thought this would be a good solution. So that's it. Pretty much done. Today, pipe that in there and cover that up. Smells like a bad perm. So we're going to put this fiberglass into this filter, make like a little plug. Probably want stuff just a little bit more in there. Let's see. I'm using the white fiberglass to, uh, oh, that is going to take forever. 
All right, so anyway, well, that's a little plug. It's gonna take days. But anyway, I'm going to get a beaker and then we'll start this process. I had to put it in a smaller container uh, that is amazingly heavy. It's so dense, it's, uh, it's pretty funny. So we're going to, I'm gonna to have to hold this and pour. We're going to, look at that, it's just like tar. That's going to take forever, but oh, look, it's starting to starting to come through. But looks like I might have to filter it a couple of times. <clears throat> so it's not too bad. It's going to take days. So you can see everything has a catch pan. Guys, do yourself a favor, find these Pyrex dishes at your thrift store and buy them for, you know, three or four bucks a piece. They're cheaper when they don't have the lids, but their lids are nice to have, but you don't necessarily need them. They're uh, pretty resistant too. They clean up well. I had to uh, use two plugs. And uh, there's this one. Looks like it's bypassing. It's gonna have to be done again. But we'll just keep filtering and keep filtering and clean that acid up and try and reuse it. I wanna get it done so it's not sitting out. It's hydroscopic, water will go into it. And, um, you know, I don't want that. I'd rather have it sealed and uh, be able to reuse it. So we'll see, I might have to button this up. Like I said, I've got some things to do. So it may just go into uh, that container and we handle this later. So we've got two filters going. This one looks like it's getting bypassed. Maybe I just didn't pack it tight enough, but I'll have to uh, refilter it. It's no big deal. Just. The main thing is to catch the gold in the fiberglass. And then I'll treat it with aqua regia, maybe hydrochloric acid and bleach, we'll see. But anyway, probably should do hydrochloric acid and bleach and drop with either SMB or ferrosulfate. Let me give you a side view, but you can see everything is in containers. This is the viscosis heavy uh, Sulfuric acid, that's the rinse bottle in the background. And these are the filters. And uh, then I've got to go get dinner and then I'll have to button this thing up tomorrow if I don't finish it.